This is a preview of A Pup in Paris, available now on Audible, link in the description. The story was written by James A.G. Jr. and narrated by Joseph Russell. Baby Nook looked at the posters on her owner's wall every day, wondering what it would be like to see a great big city. Dreams of the giant tower filled her mind while she slept. Then, one day, those dreams came true. Would you like to go to Paris with me? Jay asked Baby Nook. Baby Nook did a twirl, then another, and finally a third to let Jay know that she wanted to go. Baby Nook never thought that she could fly, but riding in an airplane was fun. Flying is easy. I see why the birds like it so much, thought Baby Nook. Bienvenue à Paris, was the greeting that the hotel concierge gave when Baby Nook pranced into the hotel lobby. She realised that the humans here spoke a different language than back home. The hotel was beautiful, and Baby Nook just knew that she would have fun, twirling in the lobby as she thought of all the adventures she would have with Jay. She twirled and 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 twirled. But when she stopped and looked around, she could not find Jay anywhere. Oh no, she barked. I've lost my human. Baby Nook looked to the concierge for help, but she did not speak French and was confused by what they were saying. I bet Jay has gone to look for me. If I can't find him, then he must be looking. If I hurry, I may be able to catch up with him, Nook thought as she bolted for the front door. Baby Nook rushed down the streets of Paris looking for Jay. She sniffed the air to try and track him, something she had seen dogs on the television do, but there were just too many new and exciting smells getting in the way. She sniffed, and sniffed, and sniffed some more, but she could not find her human anywhere. She quickly turned around to head back to the hotel, but when she did, the hotel was nowhere to be found. All of the buildings looked similar. I went this way, then that way, then up that street, and down that alley, then made a turn. Or was it the other way round? Baby Nook was confused and frightened. How will I ever find my way back? She whimpered to herself. Why are you crying? A voice said. Baby Nook quickly turned her little apple-shaped head and saw another dog wagging its tail. I'm lost and I will never find my way back to my human. I can't survive on the streets. I have to have six blankets just to stay warm at night, said Baby Nook. Don't worry. It's fun living on the streets of Paris. You can chase people, bark at the pigeons, take delicious pastries when nobody is looking, and when it's time for bed, you can find somewhere nice to look out at the Eiffel Tower as it lights up the night sky, exclaimed the other dog. Who are you? asked Baby Nook. I'm your new best friend. My name is Zoe. I think we are too different to be best friends, barked Baby Nook. You're wrong. We're the same in all the ways that matter. And I think you'll come to see that if you just spend some time letting me guide you through the city, said Zoe. I'm not going to be a city dog, but I am starting to get hungry. Where can we get some food? I'm a very picky eater. That's easy. There is food everywhere in Paris. Baby Nook followed Zoe down the street to a small shop selling crepes. Zoe rushed inside and leapt onto a table, taking two large crepes into her mouth before running back to Baby Nook. She tossed the crepes onto the ground and said, Dinner is served! Baby Nook nibbled at it for a moment and then started eating as if she was starving. This tastes amazing! Zoe looked at her and smiled. I knew you'd like it! Wait until you try macaron! This has been a preview of A Pup in Paris, written by James E.G. Jr. and narrated by Joseph Russell. The rest of the story is available now on Audible. Link in the description.